This past weekend in Pearl, Mississippi, the Mississippi Wildlife Extravaganza returned to the Clyde Muse Center for what I believe is the third year in a row since leaving the Coliseum Mississippi Fairgrounds area that it had been at for umpteen years prior to a falling out. It went to the Sheraton there in Flowood for one year, and now the last two it has been, or, or three, it's been right here in Pearl at the Clyde Muse Center, and man, they have opened their arms wide open to the city of Pearl, Hines Community College. It has been a massively successful event. I've attended it every year. This year, no different. Let's listen to what WLBT has to say about it, then I'll give you a firsthand recap. I spent all day there, all day there, Saturday. Got a bunch of cool pictures I'm going to show you and more. Let's go to WLBT. Second day of the Mississippi Wildlife Extravaganza. As hunting season gets closer, it's important for you to be prepared. Three on your sides, Verlicia Gavin joins us with more on how you can do just that. Yeah, Morgan, hunters and nature lovers are getting a head start on this year's hunting and fall season. The 37th annual Mississippi Wildlife Extravaganza hosts several vendors and events to help you and your family get ready. The Mississippi Wildlife Federation is hosting their annual wildlife extravaganza at the Clyde Muse Center in Pearl. Many hunters use this event to prepare for the upcoming season. Vendors want to remind well, them big bucks there. It's one of the biggest big bucks I've ever seen. They got that big buck bounty. Absolutely massive. Mind you that the first and most important thing on a hunter's mind should be safety. Well, on the start of hunting season, get all your stuff together. Make sure all your guns, your bows, everything sighted in. If you're using a climbing stand or saddle, make sure you got your harness or your belt so that you don't fall out. You got to be safe because you want to go home safe. One item of high demand at this year's event, data cameras. These devices help hunters with time management. They collect information like where's the deer, when's the deer coming back, what's the wind calculations, when's the wind direction, the moon phases, barometer pressure. So we're actually collecting all this information to be able to help you become a better manager of your deer herd. Tools like this are extremely useful, but the key to quality hunting is patience. Scout, 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 and scout some more. You gotta spend time in the woods if you wanna have success in the woods. As fall slowly approaches, the Mississippi Wildlife Federation wants you to know there is something for everyone outdoors. Visitors can enjoy fun events and visit vendors for clothing, jewelry, hunting gear, and more for the entire family to enjoy. I think it's important as a woman, and I brought my children, to come back. Now I got pictures with Heather here. She's a friend of mine, but actually, she's actually a real friend of mine. We got pictures together. Tell me, show you one of me and Heather here in a second. She's naked and afraid. Out and you know, just to try to get other women and children and families out uh, and to show them my love and support for the outdoors. The extravaganza did end at 7 tonight, but you still have a chance to join in on the fun tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. Tickets are $15 for adults and $7 for kids under 5 years old. For Lisa Gavin. Nice. So if you're watching this Monday morning, uh, they were talking about that from yesterday. It is officially over by the time you are seeing this video. Now, your boy got invited down there, got given a little VIP pass, kind of run, run a muck in there, have a good time, talk to everybody. I got to give away a gun. I got to get up on the stage with a couple of microphones. They asked me to represent myself and my radio station. I had no problem doing it. It was always cool. Uh, my daughters were there too, and it was kind of unexpected. So anytime they get to see their dad, get to get up on the stage and kind of play celebrity or whatever it is. I am a spokesperson. I don't know what you call it, radio host, whatever it is, local celebrity. Is that the best way to say it? It's always cool when the kids get to see that and they get, you know, kind of get to be proud of their dad for a second. So that was really fun and I appreciate that. Met a, met, a, met a bunch of great vendors. I was truly, truly impressed at how many local vendors were there. Uh, the Tom Smith land folks, and I can go on and on and on. Mississippi, uh, I don't know, buddy, Jonathan and Tracy got the, the, the barbecue season at shop. I'm drawing a blank here out in, out on Highway 51 North and you know, Ridgeland, they were there set up. You had so many good people there set up, You're doing good stuff. You had the big buck bounty. You had some real coon asses back there in the back making fresh Louisiana jambalaya. I broke my carb. 15 days in a row with no carbs. I broke it to eat some of that jambalaya, that real deal Louisiana jambalaya. It was worth it. I have no regrets at all. None at all. I got to hang out with my friend. Miss Heather Smith from Naked and Afraid, and of course my friend Miss Ashley Jones from Swamp People. Here's a couple photos I took. 
And this guy here, they call me, they say this guy's name is Stale Cracker. Apparently, he's a celebrity on the TikTok. And I'm like, hey, I'm a celebrity on the TikToks. <laughs> anyway, got to meet this fella here. He took a picture with my daughters. Really, really nice guy. Got a hell of a story, too. You go find him on TikTok. Apparently, he was a Louisiana State Highway Patrolman. And they got mad at he got mad at him because he was making such good TikToks, I guess. And uh, he's a hell of a hell of a Creole Cajun cook. You can find his seasonings in grocery stores. Super nice guy. Also, here's Miss Heather Smith, the star of Naked and Afraid. This is upstairs. I haven't interviewed her on my radio show before, so it was fitting to finally get to meet her in person and, and take a photo. And of course, all my friends messing with me. They said, Clay, keep your eyes on keep your eyes at the camera, Clay. Keep your eyes at the camera. You know, I'm just gonna say this look. Ain't nothing wrong with some boobies. Ain't nothing wrong with the boobies. But Clay's more of a more junk in the trunk guy. You know, you, you can buy boobies. You can't buy no real junk in the trunk. The BBLs don't look good. But uh, yeah, Miss Heather's a fine looking woman. I think she uh, she has all the assets she needs to be as successful as she wants to be, as well as the talents to actually do it too. So she's like a two pronged weapon there. She has beauty and talent. So I think she's gonna go as far as she wants to go in this business. Uh, good people there. I like Heather. I wish her all the best. We love Ashley Jones, our South Jackson's very own. She continues to shoot up the the ladder in reality TV and hunting reality TV. So always excited. Look, this event, the, the official wildlife extravaganza of Mississippi, it is the one. It's the better of the two that they're doing right now. I wish they could have come together and not been so hard-headed to try to split this thing up because only one of them is winning right now, and it appears to be the one, the OG, the one that's moved to Pearl from Jackson. I, I've, you'll never get me to talk bad about Andy Gibson or anybody that works with him. I'm friends with all those people, love them to death. They've been nothing but great to me. But somewhere along the lines, I don't know whose fault it was or if it was anybody's fault, maybe it was just ego, whatever, uh, a mistake was made when they split when they split these wildlife extravaganzas up and try to do them on the same weekend. Uh, the OG, the big dog, is usually going to find a way to win. And that appears to be what happened. I haven't seen any photos of the one that the fairgrounds packed out this weekend. Maybe it was. I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying the pictures and videos I've seen, it wasn't. I don't know what vendors could have been there because they had all the great vendors out in Pearl too. But anyway, did you make it out to the did you make it out to the extravaganza this weekend? What'd you think if you did? Did you win a gun? You buy a gun? You get anything? Let me know. Drop a line in the comments. Hit like, subscribe, share, and of course, be sure to listen to my radio show, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., Monday through Friday. 103.9 FM WYAB here in Central Mississippi. If you miss it live, you can always check out the podcast. It's usually up within one hour of the show ending. So by 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, just search my name, Clay Edwards Show, wherever you download podcasts, stream music, watch videos, YouTube, Rumble, and more. I don't post the uh, full-length show to this YouTube channel anymore. It has its own dedicated one. Just type in Clay Edwards Show. We get into some saucy topics up in there that YouTube doesn't like. They like to ban the channel when we talk about it. I do too much with this channel to avoid uh, getting it taken down, to risk getting it taken down. So, all right, y'all stay blessed, stay stressed. And guys, if you're suffering from low testosterone, you may have some of these symptoms. We're going to you, get you hooked up with a free testosterone screen. Fatigue, decreased muscle tone, lack of energy, low libido, that's your sex drive, brain fog or sleep disturbances. If you're suffering from any of those, you could be suffering from low T, and I'm going to get you hooked up with a free testosterone screening today. Text my name, CLAY, C-L-A-Y, all caps, to Men's Health in Mississippi at 601-327-8550. Located at 120 Fountains Boulevard, Madison, Mississippi. Get on the path today to taking back control of your manhood by getting your testosterone back to where it needs to be. If you're 35 years or older, and you haven't had your levels checked, what are you waiting on? I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on the radio. And don't remember, when in Jacktown, stay strapped down. Check out my website, buyfafo.com. You can buy that shirt right there. Only $20 this week only, buyfafo.com.